Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today I'm going to tell you about how to design SSR flanking primers. Actually, I have already made a video about this, but at that time, batch primer 3 was not working, and actually, I had to uh, make those primers manually. Um, but this time, I have checked the batch primer 3 uh, website and I have found it working. So that's why I am making another video about SSR flanking primers. If you want to know about what SSR flanking primers are, you must watch my previous video about SSR flanking primers. In this video, I'm only going straight to the website to design the SSR flanking primers for you. For example, you have a nucleotide sequence like this and you have given name as my sequence to it. Uh, this is for example your SSR in this sequence like GAA, GAA, GAA. It is a simple sequence repeat. That's why it's an SSR. So I want to design primers that flank this SSR. So one of the primers should be before this SSR and another should be after this SSR. Batch primer 3 can even find this SSR for you. If you do not know where your SSR is and then design the primers for that as well. So let's start. First of all, copy your sequence. then type batch primer 3 in google click on this website batch primer 3 and then go to this primer design let me zoom it okay now you can see that here they have selected by default the generic primers but i'm going to select ssr flanking primers so this is ssr screening and primers it will screen the ssr as well as design primers for it now let's paste your sequence here. So this is your sequence and then what you need is just click this pick primers button and your primers will be ready. So now click this pick primers button. Remember you must select this SSR screening and primers. So click pick primers. So this is the result and this is the SSR that it has screened and has found and it says that only one sequence have been found and only one SSR have been detected. As we have input only one sequence, so it says that one sequence was the input and one SSR was found in that sequence. Okay, now this is the SSR and these are the two primers that will flank your SSR. Now let's check if these results match our sequence or not. First of all, copy this SSR and find it here in your sequence. Just press Ctrl F and then remove this. Paste the copied SSR and then press Enter. As soon as you press Enter, it will show you the highlighted region that this is the SSR that it has found by the that batch primer 3 has found for you. So it is correct. Now let's go to the website again and let's see if let's select this forward primer and see where it can bind to our sequence. Again, control F, remove this already pasted sequence and now paste your new sequence that is your forward primer and then press enter. So this is where your forward primer will bind. So select this and highlight it in green color. Now let's go to this reverse primer but remember that you will not be able to find this with control F in your sequence. First you will have to find the reverse complement of this sequence. For that purpose go to Google again and type reverse complement. So here is the website this will find the reverse complement for your sequence. Just paste your sequence here and submit. So this is your reverse complement. Copy this sequence and check if it is found in your sequence or not. Again, control F, remove the already pasted sequence and paste your new sequence. Then press enter. So this is where your reverse primer will bind. Highlight it again. As you can see that this is your SSR and it has been flanked by your forward and reverse primers. So if you use these two primers, then this region will be amplified by the PCR, which will include your SSR region. So that was all for today. Thank you for watching my video. Bye.